Good morning. I'm Ian Stewart, the Deputy Commissioner and State Disaster Coordinator for the Queensland Police Service. Uh, today, our focus is on the Condamine and Dirrabandi areas. The trigger point for return of the Condamine community was reached at about 6 a.m. this morning with, when the 13 metre mark uh, was passed on the dropping flood levels uh, surrounding Condamine Township. Today, we will uh, start to repatriate uh, emergency service personnel into the town. Uh, we will certainly uh, start the clean-up and the checking mechanism for all of the housing and businesses in that area. Uh, within the next 48 hours, we hope to be able to start the return of the, of the community of Condamine to some sort of normality. We're also keeping a, a careful eye on the towns of St George and Dirrambandi. Um, as you know, Dirrambandi remains isolated and resupply issues uh, are being obviously considered on a daily basis. The other area of, of, of focus for the Queensland Police Service at the moment is still the Lockyer Valley, where at Grantham and Murphy's Creek, considerable effort is being made by large contingents of police, uh, Australian military personnel and uh, other emergency services personnel, including SES volunteers, to undertake the very significant and gruesome task of searching uh, in, the, in the areas surrounding the town. We are also looking at the waterways, uh, but the task of looking into every bit of debris that has been uh, located in the uh, search area and in the disaster area for between those two towns is absolutely significant and will take probably some weeks to complete. Thankfully, the death toll has not risen overnight and it still remains at 20 persons since the start of this event at Toowoomba on the 10th of January. However, some good news is that we have uh, located alive and well one of the persons uh, listed as missing, and that occurred yesterday, uh, and we have also uh, been able to confirm that one of the missing persons uh, was a body we located in the last few days. That has dropped the number of missing persons now to 10. Um, on a more positive note, the Queensland Police Service and other agencies have been able to successfully locate or identify 470 other 473 other persons listed as missing since the Toowoomba event started on the 10th of January. In total, since the 30th of November 2010, 33 people are confirmed dead uh, from flood of related events in Queensland. And whilst this is a high toll, uh, certainly we are thankful that the toll was not much higher. In terms of our communication strategies, we are working hard to investigate any rumour that comes to our notice to either validate that information on behalf of the community or to identify that it is false. Uh, this is very, very important in terms of uh, retaining the confidence of the Queensland public in the information and investigative processes that we undertake. The transition to recovery is certainly in its final stages, with only a few districts throughout the state still considered in response mode. Hopefully by the end of this week, we will be able to return full command to local areas and hand to uh, local d disaster management groups the responsibility to move into full recovery mode throughout the state. Unfortunately, uh, we are still at the early stages of the wet season in Queensland, and Whilst we are moving to recovery mode in all of the currently affected areas, we are also preparing to move back into response mode should that be necessary in any further rain events. Thank you.